when we're assessing relative stability, what you want to do is apply these rules in order to make comparisons. Now, unfortunately, it wouldn't be chemistry uh, if there weren't some exceptions. So a really important exception to know is an alkyne versus an amine. And if you were just following the rules in order, your first comparison would be the atom effect, and you would compare the carbon and the nitrogen, and you would say nitrogen is more electronegative. And you would hypothesize that because of that, it's more acidic. And typically that's going to be the case. But in this particular example, if you have an amine and an alkyne, the hybridization actually wins out. We have the sp3 nitrogen, the sp carbon, here hybridization wins. And the alkyne is more acidic than the amine. This is very specific to these two functional groups. So don't apply this to anything else. Just apply it if you're comparing an alkyne CH and an amine NH group. One other important exception to keep in mind is a carboxylic acid versus a thiol. So if you were applying the rules in order, you would get to the atom effect and you would compare sulfur and oxygen and you would say, well, sulfur is larger, so it wins, it's more acidic. Um, but in this case, the resonance here happens to dominate because the negative charge on this oxygen in the conjugate base is delocalized through resonance. So in this case, resonance does dominate over the atom effect. And the difference, pK of about 5 versus 11. So don't try to apply these exceptions to other things. Just keep in mind the exceptions if you're comparing amines and alkynes, carboxylic acids, and thiols. All right, so here's one example. Let's say you're given these three compounds and you want to sort them by acidity. So we find our most acidic proton on each, and then applying our rules in order, we start with the atom effect. Look at the atom that each hydrogen is bonded to. And we have two that the hydrogen's bonded to an oxygen, and then the one on the far right, the hydrogen's bonded to a nitrogen. Well, oxygen and nitrogen are in the same row on the periodic table, so we use electronegativity. And we say that oxygen's more electronegative than nitrogen. So the two with the oxygen will be more acidic than the one with the nitrogen. So we'll rank this one as third, the least acidic. So now we have the first two to compare. And we can't use the atom effect because the atom's the same. So now we go on to our polar effects, and the one we look at here is going to be resonance. So the conjugate base of this acid is going to be O minus. That negative charge is next to a pi bond, and you can move that through resonance. So resonance is going to make this one the most acidic. And then this one will fall in the middle. In this next example, we're asked to rank these indicated protons by acidity. So again, we'll apply the rules in order. Start with the atom effect. So identify the atom that the acidic proton is bonded to in each case. So we have oxygen, sulfur, and then three of them are carbons. So now, based on the atom effect, we can rank and say, using the periodic table as a guide, 
carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur is below oxygen. So our acidity trend increases in this direction and this direction. So of these, the hydrogen on the sulfur is going to be the most acidic. Next, we'll have the hydrogen on the oxygen. Now we have the three carbons to look at. And applying our polar effects in order, resonance is the one that comes first. Well, if we have the negative charge on this triple bond or on the double bond, the, there's not going to be any resonance. Remember, it needs to be next to the pi bond for a resonance structure. But if you look at this group right here, if I just draw kind of an excerpt of this and its conjugate base, once I get the negative charge here in the conjugate base, I can move that through resonance. This one has resonance stabilization. So that's going to be number three. Then we come to these next two, and we're going to use the hybridization effect to compare those. Here is an sp hybridized carbon. Here's an sp2 hybridized carbon. So of those, the one with more s character will be more acidic. So we have number four and number five. So that's a ranking of those protons by acidity.